Hi, my name is Rahan Siddiqui and I work for TCS, otherwise known as Tata Consultancy Services. My current role is Service Management Cluster Lead for Tech, which means I manage major incident management, problem management and incident management. And I manage a team on site and offshore in combination. So the best thing about my role is that I never know what's going to happen day to day. And that's what brings me into work because I don't like mundane, boring things. One day it could be um, a cyber security attack. The next day it could be a small server failure either way it affects the business and people need to resolve the incident in a quick manner in a timely manner so that the business can be up and running and that's what i enjoy most about my role you never know what's going to happen next my big belief statement is if you put your mind to it you can accomplish anything so i was born with no hands and i also wear two below knee artificial legs and that belief has been ingrained inside my mind for the, my entire life and that's my motto in life. From the time that I was born back in 1975, obviously I had my family around me, I had a medical team around me, I had social workers, I had occupational therapists and in those days I think disabled people were brought up to be normal. I was born like this. My arms and legs weren't damaged in any trauma. I've never known anything different. And therefore, whatever I am in my body is absolutely normal and able-bodied for me. There's a lot of things that I can do and there's a lot of things that I can't do, just like anyone else. Um, so my disability has never really um, run my life for me, more like I run my life in my mind. I'm absolutely normal and able-bodied and I can do anything. So my disability doesn't really define me. When I started to learn to read and write, um, people were concerned how would I write, but I just picked up a pencil, started drawing and writing just like anyone else. And then came how would I manage at a normal mainstream school as opposed to a special school. My parents fought hard for me to be in everything normal. I drive an automatic car. I pass my test within 10 lessons. I also had the uh, fortune, good fortune to always have managers that were ex-military and they are also get on with it type of people. And that's why I keep saying my disability doesn't define me. The biggest lesson I have learned in my workplace was that this organisation, TCS, was the first organisation where I actually asked for help. Prior to that, I, I did struggle in certain areas, such as using the washroom in, in different buildings, in different organisations. I never really felt that I should or could ask for help. I thought that that would be a burden on my management. But um, when I came in TCS, I um, felt and I was asked if I needed anything and I thought this time I'll take the chance and I'll ask for the special facility that I need in the washroom and within two weeks it was given to me and for the first time in my 22 year career I actually felt totally happy and totally physically comfortable at work so the lesson I learned was if you need something ask for it um, reason, reasonable adjustments for disabled people are openly provided nowadays communicate be open and talk to your management team if you had asked me um, when I was, say, 12 years old, would I ever be a senior manager for a globally renowned IT tech organisation such as TCS, I would have said that will never happen. But if you look at me now and where I am and what I've achieved, um, you know, even in my personal life, let alone work, I'm a senior manager within TCS for a wonderful client. I'm married. Um, I've got a seven-year-old daughter. I don't really like using the word disabled because um, the, anything starting with a dis for me is a negative connotation like disappointment. I see myself as having different needs and different, different abilities. So my message to anyone coming into the workforce is be relaxed, be open, have an open mind, put your mind to your role. Don't worry about being restricted because of your differing abilities or your disabilities. Just go and do the role to the best of your abilities and communicate if you have any challenges and, and try and overcome them as well. And I overcame, I'd say 95% of my challenges myself just by saying, I'm going to do it, I want to do it, and that's how I'm gonna be successful. And if you can't overcome them, you can always ask for help. I wanted to work for an organisation like TCS and um, 
Obviously, they're globally renowned, and I wanted to make my career in this organization a success. Obviously, I had the same struggles as any other disabled person would have going into an organization, but because I had that passion and that drive and um, the ambition to succeed, I think that's what drove me to being more open about my disability and overcoming those challenges. So just communicate and have a clear mindset and open goals and you will get there.